Jordan Nelson, and this assignment is for a course in Nursing 3065C, uh, Spring Semester 1, 2018. My scenario is patient scenario number 20, uh, peripheral arterial disease. I've selected the ankle brachial index as being the skill that I'm going to perform in this patient. The reason I've selected this skill is because it helps in assessing the resistance within an artery and assists with the diagnosis of peripheral arterial disease. The skill is related to this specific scenario in that the patient is showing classic signs of PAD, such as cooling of the foot sensation, and also minimal hair growth laterally on the legs, as well as uh, un or difficult, painful gait. Also, with a history of uncontrolled diabetes, this is the leading factor in atherosclerosis, which may lead to PAD. The information that, that to be obtained from performing this skill as it relates to the patient scenario is that it can <coughs> determine how well the blood is flowing through your limbs. When we compare your lower limbs pressure compared to your upper limbs, it gives us an idea of the calcification of your arteries, of your arms compared to your legs. You want the lower number, the, you, they want the lower number, the leg number on the, they want the leg number lower than your arm number. This may help in an early diagnosis and earlier treatment. The resources that I've selected in this scenario is stanfordmedicine.edu, from the U.S. National Library of Medicine. Both of these resources provide a depth of information, the procedures for testing ankle brachial index, and also the, what the measurement of the ABI means to a healthcare provider. So I'm now gonna go ahead and demonstrate this skill. So you need the stethoscope and a blood pressure cup. You can also use a Doppler as well, but for now I don't have a Doppler, so I'll just use a uh, stethoscope. So I'm just gonna go ahead Just like you're taking a normal blood pressure cuff or blood pressure, a manual, just gonna go ahead, apply it, feel for the brachial pulse, go ahead and inflate it so you can't hear it anymore. And deflate. And just keep listening in. So I have our left arm pressure now, so now I'm going to do her right arm. We do both arms and then one leg. I'm going to go ahead and take her right, push her right arm. And the same thing we did on the other arm. So you can do this on either the dorsalis pedis pulse or the post tibial pulse. She has a strong uh, dorsalis pedis, so I'll just do it there. Just apply the blood pressure cuff to the leg, as you normally would, and take him in on the leg. Go ahead and palpate for the pulse. It's about right there. So go ahead and inflate. So now we have our numbers here already. Zoom in a little more to this one. So your apical brachial index is your left leg systolic, which is your top number, over the highest systolic in both your arms. So her left arm was 132 over 80, and her right arm was 128 over 76. So we're going to take the 132 because it's higher. Her left foot uh, blood pressure was 104 over 78. So we're going to take the left leg systolic, which is 104, put it here, and the highest systolic in both arms, which is 132, put it here. That gives you the 0 0.78. And then when we go to Stanford's chart on the ankyl brachial index, that puts us right here at 0 0.78. So it's moderate arterial disease, and you would refer to a vascular specialist. That's everything. Thank you.